I discovered my purpose many years ago was to help people. That was why I developed my unique uh, technique in hypnosis. I've been trying to help people with problems and with their health. And I, along the way, I began to get a great deal of knowledge too that was coming to me. So I feel my purpose is to spread that to people. And I've been teaching my method all over the world now so other people can learn how they can use their minds to heal their bodies and to solve their problems. Because people don't realize we make ourselves sick. We cause our own problems. Nobody does it to us. We do it to ourselves. And I'm trying to make people realize that so they can release these things and let them go. And they can heal themselves this way. But also, it's very important now to spread the knowledge that we have there. It's the knowledge of what the world is all really all about. And that's my job, I think, is to spread this knowledge. And that's why I've written 14 books and I'm still writing more and they're translated all over the world now. They've taken on a life of their own. It's like they're alive and they're out there doing their own thing which I would never have suspected when I started this 30 years ago, that it would have become a live, living thing and be influencing people everywhere. That we have to spread the knowledge and the information so they can understand where we are. The old is no longer useful. We have to move into the new. And the whole new world is going to be based on love. If you have love, there will be no violence, there will be no wars. It's a whole new direction, and it'll take a lot to turn people around. But that's why I travel so much all over the world, so people can get this message. We have to let it go. It's not useful anymore. We've got to move into a totally new dimension that's going to be amazing to people when they get there. Was I've been doing hypnotherapy for 40 years. And I began doing past life therapy 30 years ago and up doing it continuously ever since. And in the beginning, it was just all past lives and taking the people back to the source of their problems by taking them into the past life that was influencing their problems in this lifetime. And I've now done thousands and thousands and thousands of people in just about every problem you could think of and every walk of life. And along the way, as I was doing this, strange things began to happen. While I was working with these people, I began to have contact through them with the source of all knowledge and all information. And it was a fantastic thing when it happened and be a little complicated to explain it. This is what I'm teaching all over the world now with my technique of how to do this. But what if you were able to contact the source of all information that knows everything, and all you had to do was think of the questions to ask it. And that's what, where I've gotten my information. And it doesn't matter who I'm working with, in the therapy, this will always come through the same voice, the same um, way of speaking, and they always give me the same information. My job is to remember it, accumulate it, put it together like pieces of a puzzle, and write about it. And it's all beautiful, it's all positive. I've not found any negativity in my work whatsoever. And the people that I work with are helped tremendously. So I know that's my mission, is to help people in that way. But that's where my information has come from, and it's not orthodox. People will laugh at it. They'll probably say it's impossible. But how can you deny it when it comes through so many people? And the information is repeated again and again with nobody knowing what I have already received. So my job is to just keep adding to the volume of information as we're ready for it. And the time is now for us to begin to bring this knowledge back. A lot of it was knowledge we had, oh, eons ago, and then it was taken away. We lost it whenever these other civilizations went down. We couldn't handle it. We misused the powers. And so now it's time to bring all of this back, the psychic powers we had, the knowledge, and the ability to use it. 
it's being brought back into our time right now. And that's part of my job is to help spread it. And I think it's very exciting to be a part of it and watch it change the world. But a lot of lectures, I have to be careful because, you know, there are people that have the religious backgrounds and uh, they're not into metaphysics. And of course, they think we're working with the devil and all of that. So when I, I speak before large audiences, I always try to hold, have to hold back and not really tell everything I want to tell because I don't want to offend them. I don't want to go against anybody's relief, religious belief systems. So what I'm saying now is more to, to the people that I would like to say because uh, you have to hold back when you're in front of an audience. I respect religious beliefs. It's important. That is where they are. We're not supposed to change anybody. We're not supposed to go out and convert anyone. We just give the information, and when they're ready, they'll ask questions, and we'll have the answers. And that's all we're supposed to do.